Hey, it's Michael here with Jade Puma. So one feature that Flex doesn't have is tabs. And, and in this video, I'll show you how to add tabs to any page template in your Flex theme. So first, just let's take a look at what that might look like. So here is an example. We have this store built using the Flex theme. And on the product page here, we have these tabs. So that's how they work, you can see it works quite nicely and on mobile uh, here they are same thing so uh, the first step to add these if we look back in our tutorial article here is to first of all add the tabs section to our theme files so let's go and do that So the very first thing we need to do is add the tabs section to our theme files. So let's come into the theme that we're editing and click on edit code. And then we just want to find the sections folder here, uh, add a new section and we're just going to call it index uh, tabs. Oh, rats, that's not right. <laughs> index tabs dot liquid and hit save. Okay. And then we're going to use the code from our tutorial here. So this is the file index underscore underscore tabs. If we just come down to the bottom here, we find this view raw button. So click on that, copy all that code. And then we're just going to paste that into this file and hit save. Okay. And then the next thing we have to do is modify the individual section files that we want to include in our tab structure. Okay, so here we are in the index image with text section file, and we want to find the opening section tag because we're going to wrap this section in our container. So here it is, opening section tag. Let's make a little space before that, and then we want to just come to our blog article. That's where you can find the code. So here it is. Uh, so we have a few snippets of code here. We have the section file and then down below that you'll find this snippet of code here. So let's click on view raw and grab all this code. Okay, and then just paste it above the opening section tag here. And then before we save it, we just want to grab the closing div tag from this snippet. And we want to put that, instead of having it there, we want to put it below the closing section tag. So if we come down here, we find the closing section tag here. And then we just need a closing div tag, as it says here in the uh, comment. So let's save that. Now we're not done editing this section file yet. We also need to add a, a setting to the schema down here. So to find that setting, let's go back to our blog article here and come down again to the bottom. Here it is, add the following to the schema of each section. So if we go view raw, copy this little piece of code and then we can come down to our schema. Come, let's come down to the bottom of our schema. So we want to come down to just before the block element, or rather at the end of the settings array. So just before the closing settings bracket. So let's come down here. And we can see that's the closing settings bracket. So let's come up here, put a comma, so it will be syntactically correct and then paste in that little snippet and then we can hit save perfect so that's all the modification we need to make to the section files within our tabs and now we should have everything we need to do i'll make the exact same modifications in the gallery section and then we'll have a look on our product page and we should be able to create our tabs Perfect, so here we are back on our product page. And 
as you can see if we look in this section image with text we can see there's an additional setting down the bottom it says tabs and then it gives us tab label now before we can do anything we have to add a tabs section to our page template here so that will be this new section index underscore underscore tabs so let's search here for tabs there there it is and here so let's pull it right up just underneath the product information and nothing's appearing yet because we don't have any well actually it's not appearing because we had didn't check this box so let's enable it and you can see now we have uh, six tabs but they all have the default name so for this we just want two tabs right so let's just hide the ones that we're not going to use okay so we have two tabs and the first tab is going to be called uh, let's say product uh, information and then the second tab uh, we're going to call it gallery now you can have any tabs you like okay so now that our tabs are set up and enabled um, you can see the page is just blank because we haven't assigned um, any sections to these tabs so let's go and do that now first we'll go to the image with text and we come down here to tab label and let's assign that to product information right away you can see it pops up and then let's come down to gallery and assign this one to gallery and now we have our tab functionality 